I borrow the words of Rabindranath Tagore. Faith is the bird that feels the light and sings when the dawn is still dark. Nirmala Sita Raman began her budget speech with a Ramadana Tagore poem. Clearly, the eye was on the West Bengal elections. But if you go through the details of the budget, a lot of announcements, whether the freight corridors, whether there are railways infrastructure, new railway lines, those kind of roadways, all of that was focused on two states, that's of Tamil Nadu as well as West Bengal. The purpose was very clear, to reach out to the voters of these two critical states. We know how the BJP has been giving a lot of attention to the state of West Bengal. The Prime Minister is also going to go there in a couple of days. Some more announcements may be made by him. But with this focus on West Bengal and Tamil Nadu, the messaging from the party and the government is very, very clear that these two states do matter. As expected, predictable responses coming in from the opposition parties, all of them giving a thumbs down. The FM gave out a mind-boggling figure of rupees 2,23,846 crore for health. She added the one-time cost of vaccination, rupees 35,000 crore, and, mark this, and the Finance Commission grants amounting to rupees 49,214 crore. Given inflation, the increase is practically nil. Trinamool Congress's Derek O'Brien issued a long statement saying that this kind of an announcement for West Bengal in terms of roads has actually come a little bit too late because Bengal is number one in the country for its roadways and all of it, the credit goes to the Mamata Banerjee government. So politics clearly not out as far as the budget is concerned.